The orthogenic school has actually been in existence for over a hundred years and it initially started as a day school program in order to really provide a place for children and for professionals to learn and grow together and to also um, take a look at how residential treatment, how day schools, how therapeutic treatment um, can evolve and can really be child-centered. And so for a hundred-year-old program, a few things in all of its different iterations um, have really remained consistent. The orthogenic school is well known for developing a therapeutic milieu. It really didn't exist prior to the orthogenic school. And the therapeutic milieu really encompasses everything that occurs at the school. It's as if everybody who works here is kind of holding hands and creating a container and holding everything that happens together. And that often shapeshifts. And when a new person joins, or when there are new feelings, or when something happens, you have to somehow find a way to work together. And that also really means that every single detail of a child's experience is really carefully and thoughtfully put together from a perspective of a child so that one is really thinking about what is it like to be a student in this space? What is it like to be able to talk to different people? Um, who are these people? How do we connect with each other? And really, the three elements that make the milieu work reside in, first of all, that we are a learning community. And being a learning community is not limited to the children. Everybody who works here is also learning and growing. We are a safe community, and not just safe in terms of being physically safe. There's also a safety that must come um, from an emotional sense. To be emotionally safe um, is critical for children to grow and learn. And so a lot of emphasis is how do we create a place that feels emotionally safe? So a typical day at the O School consists of arriving to friendly faces, to their therapist, to me, to our assistant principal, and uh, getting some breakfast, joining their base class. Uh, base class at the O School is uh, homeroom on steroids is what I call it. So it's a place where it's their group, their teachers, people who know each other very well. And then they go on to departmentalized classes for the rest of the morning after that first 15 minutes of the day. Um, and just like a regular high school. So they're moving through the day, they come back to their base class at lunch um, with that familiar group of people. They eat together, they share a meal, they check in, and then go off to some more departmentalized classes. And then at the very end of the day, we do a dismissal um, at 3.15. So it's like real live school. So at the O School, the ways in which we help students avoid the things that are typically overstimulating and very stressful for, for kids in a typical school setting. Um, we don't have bells, so we have passing periods, we make it normal, but, um, but there's not a big loud bell that happens every 40 minutes in the day that throws your sensory system up and, you know, sends it haywire. Um, <clears throat> we're small. Us being small is a big part of our success for our students. There's 10 students in every class with two teachers. Um, passing periods are swift and quiet. Um, and then, you know, a lot of it also comes back to the design of our building. Every classroom has its own bathroom, so there's not a lot of traffic in the hallways throughout the day. We know the importance of social connection for our students' mental health. Um, o School students derive enormous comfort from knowing they're not alone and knowing that there's a lot more to them than their mental health struggles. Um, the O School social environment emphasizes shared responsibility, mutual respect, healthy coping strategies, and positive peer influence. And it's that social environment that is the framework 
uh, or the milieu or the scaffolding for the student's entire experience academically, therapeutically, and for extracurricular activities. Um, individual therapy is generally twice a week, group therapy is once a week, and family therapy is a minimum of twice per month. Um, those folks, together with the students' academic staff, are in uh, close communication with each other through regular collaboration meetings and documentation of the student's progress. Um, the student's treatment plan is their shared roadmap. O school students are complex, rich human beings who are more than their mental health challenges. And we are a community that specializes in your complexities and your child's complexities. It could be super lonely to have mental health challenges and to be a teenager with mental health challenges. And it's a unique school environment like ours that's equipped to help you and to help you realize you're not alone. Coming to the Orthogenic School provides their children and their family with an opportunity to grow um, in a safe environment. That's the core piece of what, what most of our students need. So.